क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ टाइमर आई सी ट्रिपल फाइव दैट इज नथिंग बट फेज लॉक लू इन विच वी सी ओ इज यूज एज ए एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पी एल एल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वट यू मीन बाई पी एल एल एंड वॉट इज द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल बिहाइंड इट्स वर्किंग सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द टॉपिक PLL that is phase lock loop it is a control system that generates the output signal which is related to the input signal frequency it was invented in 1930 so let's see what is PLL is PLL is a control system that generates output signal whose phase is related to the phase of PLL is a control system which generates output signal whose phase is related to the phase of input signal that means the phase of input and output varies with respect to each other pll was first introduced in 1930 but at that time the cost is a important factor because the cost was very much higher the use of pll at that time were restricted but as the development in the integrated circuit takes place the cost factor is get reduced and pll now can have a number of advantages so that it can be used in the number of application pll are used in the applications like it can be used in fmd modulator it can be used as a frequency multiplier it can be used in the fsk demodulator it can be used in a frequency division and many more so basically the pll is considered as one of the important basic building block of many electronic circuits because it provides number of advantages over the other circuits pll is available in the form of single ic chip and the various ic numbers are the pll ic having a different number and they are 560 561 562 564 565 567 so these are the few number of pll ic that can be used in many application like fm demodulator fsk demodulator speed control of motor frequency division and multiplier and many more now let's understand how the principle of operation of pll is or we can say the block diagram of pll the block diagram of pll basically consists of input signal having voltage vs and frequency fs the various blocks which are present in phase lock loop are phase detector or comparator low pass filter amplifier and voltage control oscillator now let's understand the function of each block in detail so that we can understand the working principle of pll the first block is nothing but phase detector or a comparator the input signal which is having voltage vs and frequency fs is applied as a input to the phase detector or a comparator as its name indicates the comparator or a phase detector is basically used to compare the two signal one signal is nothing but the input signal that is voltage vs and frequency fs the other input received by comparator is nothing but the feedback signal the feedback signal is nothing but a output or a part of output is given back to the input so here we can say the output voltage having amplitude v0 and frequency f0 is acts as a feedback signal and acts as a another input to the phase detector or a comparator so the comparator compares two signals feedback signal and input signal and it produces a voltage that is called as ve at the output the voltage ve is called as error voltage now the error voltage having a difference of phase between the two frequencies that is fs and fo so error voltage provides difference between fs and fo the next block is nothing but a low pass filter we know that filter is a frequency selective circuit if we consider the frequency response of filter then it consists of two main parts that is pass band and stop band as it is considered as a frequency selective circuit it passes certain band of frequency which is called as pass band and it blocks the remaining frequencies which is called as stop band low pass filters are basically used to block higher frequency and passes low frequency the frequency in pass band having higher gain whereas frequency in stop band having lower gain so 
when the frequency range is from 0 to fc that is up to cutoff frequency we will have high gain and we will have a pass band whereas frequencies which are above fc having zero gain and we can say that comes under a stop band frequency in case of pll the low pass filter are basically used to remove the high frequency noise present at the output of phase detector that means the output of phase detector VE is passed through a low pass filter. Here we will get a ripple free DC voltage at the output of low pass filter because the high frequency noise is get attenuated by a low pass filter. The next block is nothing but amplifier. The output provided by low pass filter do not have enough amplitude so that it can drive the further system. So amplifiers are basically used to boost the signal or to have enough amplitude of the signal. So amplifier provide adequate amplitude to the output of filter that is a DC voltage. The output of the amplifier is now called as VC that is nothing but control voltage. The output of amplifier is nothing but VC that is control voltage. Now this control voltage is nothing but ripple free DC voltage but having adequate amplitude so that it can drive the further system. The input VC that is control voltage is applied to the next block which is called as voltage control oscillator. Voltage control oscillator is basically an electronic circuit in which the output frequency varies according to the input voltage. So here the output frequency that is nothing but FO is get changed as per the input signal that is nothing but control voltage VC. The voltage control oscillator provides three state of operation and they are free running state, capture state and phase lock state. The output of voltage control oscillator that is VO having frequency FO is get compared with the input signal having amplitude Vs and frequency Fs by using phase detector and comparator. Now let's see what are the three different stages of operation of voltage control oscillator. The first stage is free running state. Now in this stage there is no control on FO. It is the stage, it is the stage that is nothing but the stage of voltage control oscillator before applying the control voltage VC that is input voltage. The second stage is nothing but a capture state. Now in this stage the comparison between FO that means the output frequency and input frequency FS is get actually begins and the control voltage start bringing output frequency near to the input frequency because the function of voltage control oscillator is to provide output frequency that varies with respect to input voltage. So the input voltage VC tries to bring FO and FS nearer to each other. The third stage of operation of VCO is phase lock. At this stage the voltage control oscillator provide FO is equals to FS and PLL enters into the phase lock loop. Once the PLL enters into the phase lock loop then the output frequency get changes with respect to input frequency. That means the input frequency starts tracking the output frequency. This also indicates that the output frequency is get changed with variation in input frequency. So this is how the phase relation between input and output is get obtained by using PLL. The important part plays over here is nothing but the part play by VCO that is voltage control oscillator where actual comparison and equality of frequency takes place. So this is what about the working principle of PLL that is a control system which generates the output signal which is phase related with respect to input signal. Once the PLL is get phase locked the output and input frequency varies with respect to each other. So this is what about the PLL working principle and introduction to PLL. So I hope you understand the topic of introduction and working principle of phase lock loop. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Subscribe Ikeda. Thank you.